the Saturdays. Headline hitting girl group. Fashion icons. Oh, I love this. And five great friends. They're facing a gruelling schedule, and for the first time ever, we're following them every step of the way, going behind closed doors. 24 hours a day. Tonight, as the Saturdays chase their first ever number one single, <laughs> Vanessa gets a rude awakening. Okay, I'm a messy person, we all gathered up. Una gets an eyeful. <laughs> She's done a willing! <laughs> Molly makes new friends. I love this place. Everyone is just like me. They're always happy. They're like, woo! Branky takes a turn for the worse. Yes, I'm going straight to bed. I still feel absolutely rubbish. And Rochelle realises the show can't go on. It's the first time I've ever pulled out on the night of a show like this. After months of hard work, the Saturdays are ready to release their new single, Missing You. And that's going to mean a manic non-stop round of promotion, paps and pandemonium. <coughs> but before all that, the girls have one day left to relax. Rochelle's taking best mate Laura and bandmate Vanessa shopping in the West End. No, 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 you need to go over there. Don't go here. You did not tell me this. Ah! Ah! <laughs> like an old woman. <laughs> You're scaring me a bit in this car, you know. And things get scarier still for Vanessa when she spots an ex-boyfriend as they drive by. Oh my god! Oh my god! We need to go back. That's Parry. Turn the cameras off, John! What that boy that was standing there? Boy, the hot one. Oh the hot one that was standing there. I see him when I was like 16. Oh, hang on. Let's pull over. No, don't go and get him. What are yeah, you doing? Know, no, 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 Rochelle! 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 No! <laughs> With Vanessa having been sidetracked, Rochelle and Bezzy mate Laura get shopping. I'm trying to look at a bed today. Test out a bed. Rochelle's been given a list of household essentials by JLS boyfriend Marvin to buy for their new flat. Can you spoon me? Just now, just to see. Just for test. Um, a super king. <laughs> I'll do the chair. <laughs> it's quite a good spoon. Yeah. See now you. All right. You're... <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is okay. quite nice. But wait, can I? Can you just try lying? Because this is the side I sleep on, and then I kind of tend to do this. Oh. <laughs> no, but in the night, like, yeah. Is that in your way? I like this one. I mean, do you want a super king? Super king yeah. size will be yeah, 2,600. 2,600 pounds? That's, that's correct, that's for the mattress. I'm expensive buying all this. <laughs> Sounds like Frankie and McFly boyfriend Dougie may need to work on their karaoke. Today, they're taking advantage of her final few hours before the Saturday's single release for a bit of quality couple time. We do try and get to do stuff. Like, we went to the museum, didn't we? Which one? Um, is it the Natural History Museum? What did we see? We saw dinosaurs. And how bored were you? Very. This time, Dougie's got a better plan, involving living animals. They've booked a VIP tour of Woburn Safari Park. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> if they can get in the car. I love it. It's amazing. I feel like, I feel like a child. I'm so excited. Look at those horns. That's amazing. <gasps> They're really entertaining. Look at that bird and the carrot. Time to find out what the couple really think of each other. If you were an animal, what would you be? What would you think I'd be? A lizard. <laughs> you know the, the sloth from Ice Age? That's such a lie. He always says I'm like a chihuahua. Oh, actually, yeah, uh, she is a chihuahua in human form. Frankie had her way, we'd have a zoo in our house. 
would. My dream is to live on, like in the country somewhere and not have like a farm farm, but you know, zebras and giraffes, loads of animals things. everywhere. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you can't bribe a giraffe to kiss you. It's so relaxing and so nice compared to when you've been really busy and stuff. It's so nice just being out of London and just be one with nature. After a happy few hours communing with nature, the lizard and his chihuahua head home. Can we come back every week? <laughs> Meanwhile, Rochelle's calling reinforcements, boyfriend Marvin. But he's in LA, eight hours behind London. Best be important. Oh no, you're sleeping. Oh no, sorry. I just wanted to ask you something about the washing machine. Do you know what the model's called? Oh, sorry, babe. OK. OK, babe, love you. Bye bye, bye. Well, wait, whilst waiting for the message to come through, should go and get some candles. Yeah, but I just seen a dress I like. Seems this Saturday is easily sidetracked. Isn't that nice? Oh, I like these. That is nice as well. I love that. Do you think these are cute? I'm sure this is really not what I'm supposed to be doing. Marvin have messaged me the stuff, we better have a look. Do you have this, hunt? that one? Honeycomb Care W. One seven one four. Back amongst the household goods, pretty soon Rochelle's way out of her depth. It has been superseded by a one nine model, which was this one. Right. It was in the your larger capacity. Hmm? They do a larger capacity variation, seven kgs. Right. They hold a, a lot more clothing. This means absolutely nothing to me, he's talking gibberish. Yeah. I don't think it does for a show either, look, look, look at the face. Well, first bit's cover, so it does not fade over time. Well, can I just see, they've got to be a certain measurement. What is it that size? Um, roughly it's about 500 So this is one centimetre bigger than what he told me? Mm -hmm. well, surely we can just squeeze it in, it's only that much bigger. I'm not sure it works like that, Rochelle. I'm actually genuinely drained. It's 6 a.m. on a massive day for the Saturdays. Their single, Missing You, was released last night at midnight. And from now on, the girls must do as much promotion as possible to try to get it to number one. Hello. Hello. They start by appearing on the pre-recorded Big Brother's Little Brother. And while they wait, it's all eyes on mobile phones. We're number 29 now. Oh, see, we're really right. Oh, yeah, 29 on the singles. Storming up the charts. On the singles, yeah. The girls can't resist constantly checking their position on the rapidly changing online chart. When I left home, we were 72. That's and then in a couple of hours now, we're 29. And it hasn't even been out for 12 hours. <laughs> That's good. We're onto a good thing. So the single is re was released today on download, so all of them are checking iTunes every 10 minutes to see how it's doing. Definitely hoping for top five for it, so I think we'll get it and be confident. If anyone in this room hasn't downloaded it, the song yet... I haven't, but I have oh, I haven't, I haven't I have pre-ordered the album now. Frankie! I haven't yet. Frankie hasn't even... Yes. I have an email. I, I, I pre-ordered the, um, the pre-order album, so I, I get like a bonus acoustic tracks and videos. Sounds. That's dedication for you. And the excitement of the single release has put everyone in a very playful mood. Shaniqua! <laughs> oh, you're a cow! <laughs> After tormenting each other, a wasp gets in on the act. Wasp! Wow, so there's a wasp flying around my face. Your eyes are Vanessa, quick, Vanessa, mine. Get up, get up. Oh, oh no, no. Helen, mine. We ready to roll, girls, for yeah, rehearsal. Yeah, no. And so to work. Performance. Check chart position. Fifteen. Interview. <laughs> Check chart position again. Michelle, number twelve. Oh, number twelve. Number twelve. <laughs> you're not on it. No, 11! 11! Uh, oh, really? Time to zip across town to Radio 1. Hey. 
fans check chart position for you. Yeah, it's number six on iTunes already. Yeah, we're going to keep last night. At we midnight. keep burning it, so it will go up. If they get it this time, we'll be so happy for them. Despite the presence of a pack of photographers, Frankie's got one thing on her mind. Literally, there can be like anything going on. She's like, Pete, can I get an ice cream? It's number six now. It's number five. Oh, it's number five! Today has fortunately been an exciting day because it's climbing and it's doing well. We're at five at the moment, which um, is great. We're really, really, really pleased with that. There's a real element of like relief as well as excitement because, like I say, you just never kind of quite know. After a bizarre appearance on a radio show, <laughs> complete with pillow fights, it's time for a final check. Oh my god, oh my god number four now. Four. Stop it, I think I might cry. Number four. Oh my god. We really, really, really need to stay there. <laughs> Just one more gauntlet to run and their mad day is over. Coming up, get your motor running. The band's on bikes. The girls get an eyeful. I think this is more your subject. The downstairs department was out. And excitement reaches fever pitch. 